सो हे गाई सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद वॉट इज की की वैल्यू कैशिंग सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग ऑफ स्टार्टिंग आर सीरीज ऑन सम इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ of of a large language models that are currently being used in the current models like this key value cache is used in mistral model it's used in llama 2 llama 3 and uh, in a lot of other models so what we are going to do we are going to uh, start with the very first thing that what is actually uh, the inference strategy that key value cache is using then we are going to talk about the llama 2 paper that how key value cache is implemented there and then we are going to talk about code because you know talk is cheap let's talk about code so i think we can start so let's let's understand so this is the uh, mechanism that attention uses right uh, the query is there then the key is there the value is there and then you have the softmax of that right uh, so if this is the queries uh, and uh, the, the this is the first token then you have the key then you have the query key uh, mat matrix and then the value and then you get the attention uh, so similarly when you do second you get token 2 then to uh, uh, similarly for the key and then you get a matrix the value of that token 2 and then attention 2 similarly the third time the fourth time and the uh, uh, and uh, the fourth yeah till fourth we will do so you see every time we are calculating the matrix again and again now if you uh, understand this the ones that i have colored in red we do we actually need them we don't need them right anyways the, uh, because during inference we are not focusing on uh, these keys because the model is usually in the inference working on the causal part right so we are ignoring the next tokens that are that should not be shown to the model right so the formula that works is the query is multiplied by the transpose of key you get the que query key transpose matrix then you multiply by the value and you get the attention block uh, the attention values right now these can be eliminated straight away right now these value why are we calculating again and again the whole point is this if you see here right this was this was the first value then we uh, calculated this again this value was again calculated now we have these values right now for the third one we are calculating this again but the whole point is when we have calculated this again why to calculate it again we can all, only calculate this much part right now if you see this same thing is happening here so we are we have already calculated this but we are again calculating this and if you see the major part we don't even need this we only need this part right so if you see now uh, this is the uh, point where i am saying that why do we need to calculate these values similar way why do we need to calculate attention 1 attention 2 attention 3 we only need to calculate attention 4 because if you see the attention values remain same right attention 1 attention 2 attention 3 and uh, the attention 1 and 2 values will remain same anyways so why to calculate them also again similarly for uh, for for the qu uh, query key matrix and attention if we, this can be avoided if we are keeping these values right uh, we uh, we don't need to uh, calculate them again so we can keep these values and only talk about these values now you must be thinking so how this whole concept came into origin now at every step of inference we are only interested in the last token right the uh, like this was the token and uh, the, this was the attention now this was the query and this was the key right so because we already have the previous ones however the model actually need access to all the previous tokens right to decide on which token to output so we definitely need these attention values since they constitute to its uh, content now the, the whole concept for is there a way to make the model do less computation on the token that it has already seen during inference yes there is the key value cache is there now uh, if you see all we are only interested in the last token right uh, like uh, the last token now that this point to calculate the rest again now query key transpose matrix is the main matrix right we don't need to calculate for this why calculate this again for tokens during inference when we know that the same will come and value the values have previously already been calculated so let's let's start again to make things clear now this is at t equals to 1 right the first time the model is generating something now it has already generated now let's make it input for the next token right because we have already uh, uh, got this thing now this is going to be the for, for the next token now this is this is token 2 now now when we have got this we are going to add this to the next token now we have token 3 now similarly next token so this process uh, we are keeping the output same right so do we actually need to calculate it again and again for the same but no we don't and that's where we the whole concept of key uh, key value caching came so we are, we don't need these values anyways let's ignore them 
and these values can be kept in cache we don't need to calculate them again so simple as that not a very uh, uh, like stuff you can't uh, accept to be uh, uh, not speaking during the calculations that have been performing because a lot of people must be thinking how can we reduce these calculations during inference right we do we are already relying on a lot of big numbers for the heavy calculation part so why, why to not cache some of the part so caching was uh, uh, of the key query value uh, like query key value was actually proposed a lot before this was implemented in llama 2 so yeah now if you see right uh, if you see uh, if you see here right so key value cache has been mentioned in the paper multiple times during even the group query tension which itself is a different topic now for larger models where kv cache size becomes a bottleneck key and value projections can be shared across multiple heads obviously this is multi head tension now uh, they are telling that how key value they have used either you duplicate the key values in the gpus so yeah uh, now this figure i think is showing shows the inference speed change for the this compared to the mha baseline in an experiment using this in this we simply run sim we simply duplicate the key key value heads so yeah now i think the last preference yeah. so the kv cache uh, size for the mqa become equal to the gqa so they have mentioned key value cache uh, several times in the paper uh, because key value cache has played a very important role in fa fastening the inference now let's talk about code because you know code is important at last so guys if you see this is a simple transformer architecture of llama 2 uh, this is the uh, rms normalization this is the pre computation for the theta uh, of the position frequencies this is a uh, rotary uh, rotary meetings so uh, this is also known as rope if you guys don't know about this we can talk about this in another video then you have the feed forward neural network and then the multi head attention block then you have uh, the encoder block here and then you have the transformer uh, block here where we are calling all of them so this is the tokenization uh, like the embeddings that is happening here then you are calling all the uh, like encoder blocks then you are doing the normalization the uh, all the all the all the linear functions are being called and simply then in the forward part you are calling all of them together so it's it's pretty straightforward nothing complex now as we know that this whole concept will be applied during inference right so let's start let's start we are going to obviously talk in the multi head attention block right if you see here this whole thing is uh, is happening in the attention block so if you see here now what do we need to do the first thing that we need to do is define something that is going to be able to store all this thing so let's start with uh, let's say cell uh, let's say cache keys torch zeros uh, let's say zeros now inside this let's uh, we have the uh, arguments that they are there so uh, because this is uh, going to contain uh, the whole uh, matrix size so let's take the uh, arguments and let's say the max uh, batch size uh, okay and let's uh, take the arcs uh, max sequence length uh, sequence length uh, we can actually do auto complete but i usually prefer not to so that explanation becomes a bit easy uh, now you have the self uh, the number of uh, key value heads that you have uh, defined and let's say self head dimensions so i think that's it so uh, we have defined the key uh, key uh, the layers as 32 the number of heads uh, for the queries as 32 and the key value heads we have kept optional for the keys and values so you can go through the llama 2 paper to understand uh, the numbers that they have proposed uh, okay cool so now we have defined this for the cache keys similarly we need to do for the values so things are not going to be different right because the because the like the values will remain anyways different but the size will remain same right so i think i ran this anyways cool let's say this is the one now if you see uh, this is the torch zeros that we have defined the argument max batch size so yeah looks uh, everything looks uh, good only so uh, now once we have defined this right uh, what do we need to do next we need to define what we are going to do with this value the cache keys and the ca and the values i'll make this values cool uh, we are done with this cool uh, so once we are done with this we need to define what to do with this functions uh, like uh, with the cache keys and values 
so let's go down here where we are calculating uh, uh, the values so we have already applied the rot uh, rotary embeddings on our query and key and we have done also the transpose of that i think so now we are i think ready to uh, apply the values cool so let's say after this uh, we are going to do self dot cache keys cache uh, keys now inside this we are only going to take the uh, we are only going to replace the entry right so we will uh, take the uh, batch size the sequence length and uh, sequence length uh, sequence length and the head uh, kv and we are going to take the head dimension obviously so uh, let's start with batch size batch size and we are going to take the start position that we are defining above so we have a start position with us right from where we are starting it so start position and uh, let's keep it start position uh, to the sequence length uh, okay sequence length and that will be our key right similarly we are going to do for the cache values so i, I i'll uh, let the auto complete uh, do the things here uh, but, but the point is uh, when we are defining this right uh, we need to make sure that everything is fine so i'll again say we are going to start with the batch size the start position will be from uh, start position to the sequence length and that will be the value cool everything looks good so when once we have uh, replaced the entry we are replacing the entry here the ent entry is replaced in cache cool now once we have replaced this entry let's uh, try to retrieve it right retrieving all the uh, retrieve the cache uh, so far cool so now the new keys keys that will be there are um, let's say self dot cache keys keys and uh, that will be taking from uh, the batch size and that will be from zero to start position plus sequence length cool the similarly values will be from uh, batch size to zero to start position plus sequence length looks good now now no the now comes the main part right since you know every group of queue que queries share the same values right the queue is going to share uh, share the same uh, query uh, same kv actually uh, key and uh, value for all position now in that case we just need to repeat the kv for every right we just need to repeat we just need to repeat the key and value right uh, <laughs> so this was for query so once we are done with this we can actually do the repetition the key is equals to repeat uh, kv we are going to define this function keys and self dot and we are going to we have defined this value so not a thing to worry <laughs> uh, similarly we are going to do for values once we are done with this we are going to do the transpose uh, and uh, we are going to send these values right we are going to send these values to the uh, to the function cool now because we have retrieved it so everything looks good and uh, yeah looks decent to me cool i think we can start with defining the uh, function now if you guys are thinking uh, wh wh what are the values that we have defined so indicate how many times the key and value should be repeated that will be the number of query heads divided by the number of uh, what do you say the key, key key value heads so it's it's simple as that now let's make this function the repeat kv function so if uh, we are going to make this function as a part which is going to take uh, x and uh, the number of uh, re repeat position values so repeat kv so this is let's going to be torch dot tensor uh, then you have uh, end repeats as, uh, as integer value and uh, we are going to return what you are going to do torch dot tensor only yeah now we have the batch size we are going to define uh, the sequence length the nkv uh, heads and that are going to be the shape uh, from the shape we are taking and if the uh, the end repeats is 1 we are going to return x because 
obviously in that case what do we will return right now this is where things become tricky now we need to return yeah in in an expanded way and in a reshaped way so if you see here the batch size will be returned with the sequence length uh, now uh, with the nkv heads this you need to understand very uh, like uh, importantly so the head dimension is going to be there now this we let's start with the uh, uh, from the initially then we are going to take the next next and uh, because because at that point right this is one we are defining in none here so it's fine so in the so once we are done with this we are going to return it in the similar position only so that will be the batch size the sequence length the uh, the sequence length then we have the nkv heads i guess then we have the end repeated repeats and then the head dimension cool so that will be to expand it right expand uh, now we'll we'll put all the values together only sequence length and kv heads and repeats head dimension now we need to still format it <laughs> it's not it's not over it so uh, the oh it's writing correct i guess yeah batch sequence length uh, the n number of query heads multiplied by the n repeats and the head dimension so we will reshape it uh, we will reshape it and we'll put the values directly uh, yeah i think we are good to go so if you see here what are we doing we are taking it in this format then we are exp in the expand expand function and then we are returning it so i think yeah this this was the method to uh, apply this repeat kv function here though so we are taking the keys we are taking the values and we are doing the self and uh, dot and repeat the number of uh, times we want this to repeat so uh, makes sense i think yeah that was it from the for the code part and uh, this function is actually used in a, a, a lot of a uh, lot of models right now so i took inspiration from the current uh, mistral model that is present on the uh, mistral 7 billion uh, page of github and uh, some of the existing open source uh, models to compare like mlx has by apple has made made things easier to work on these models right so yeah so yeah guys that was it from my side i'll pin down all the resources in the description you guys can go and have a look and see how things are working here and like suggest me if you guys want video on any specific topic so thank you and have a nice day